$36.6 million. That's the amount a judge in Hood River County determined that a 15-year-old who started the Eagle Creek Fire will have to pay. Our Eileen Park has been covering the story from day one, and she joins us now to explain. Mm -hmm. Dan, you might remember on Thursday, a lawyer for the teen argued that this total sum is cruel and unusual. But after the judge took a few days to think about it, he decided that it wasn't. And here's why. Under Oregon law, after 10 years, the court could decide to give full or partial relief of the remaining restitution sum if he successfully completes probation, is law-abiding, and sticks to a payment plan. On top of that, since the team can't pay the full amount at once, the Hood River Juvenile Department is working out a sum that is affordable to the team. And from there, they'll create a payment schedule. So the goal in this is not to get every last dollar that this youth makes or ever will make. It's to provide a structure so victims are, are acknowledged in their loss and that the, the payments are made in a way that the youth has the ability to do that and also to reform him and also deter any future criminal conduct. I asked Phil Lemon with the Oregon Judicial Department if the teen's parents could be liable. He said in this case, no. But if the victims file a civil suit, well, that is a different story. I also asked who could get paid first once the payments get rolling. The victim who lost her home or the Forest Service or ODOT, for example. Well, the state does not know yet because they first have to determine the amount he'll be paying regularly. By the way, I also asked the Skamina County prosecutor if they plan on pressing charges against the teen since the Eagle Creek fire did jump over to the Washington side. And he said it is unlikely based on something he calls statutory double jeopardy. Dan, Jennifer, back to you. We've been waiting on that word from Skamania County for a long time, finally yeah. coming today. Thank you, Eileen.